Cattle feeders number one uh, environmental challenge is making sure they have enough uh, land to put manure on and what we've been doing today is uh, trying to make sure that uh, cattle feeders have access to as much land as they need to put out the manure that they generate on an annual basis. One of the ways they do that, one of the most important ways, is to uh, is known as an off-site or third-party manure transfer. Uh, it turns out that these transfers to landowners that uh, are not associated with the feed yard at all are really a critical component of the feed yard's nutrient management planning exercise. Um, so we're, what we're trying to do is is ensure that the off-site manure transfer is maintained as, as an avenue for feed yards to get rid of their excess manure. In order to keep those relationships voluntary uh, and in order to preserve that conduit for manure off the feed yard, uh, we've got to make sure that everybody involved in spreading manure knows uh, everything there is to know about spreading manure uniformly, hitting the right target rates, knowing what areas of the field to avoid, and that's what this demonstration project is all about. We're looking at different rates of manure application and using compost application, and we want to see the effect of different rates um, on, um, on soil nitrogen, soil phosphorus levels, and how that um, correlates to crop yields. And then also we want to monitor um, not only the soil nutrients, but how much nutrients we are losing in runoff water. So this is an automatic water sampler, an ISCO 6712 sampler, which will collect um, runoff samples during a storm event or in this case, even during an irrigation event. If the irrigation uh, produces a runoff event, it runs through a flume, which is on the back side of this sampler, and it records the level in that flume, and it's able to calculate um, runoff volume based on that. And that will trigger the sampler, and it will pull um, water samples. So on this site, we have um, four rates. We have 20 ton per acre that occurs once every three years. Um, we have five tons per acre of compost annually, and then we have commercial fertilizer applications annually, which is about 125 pounds of nitrogen. And then we have 10 ton per acre raw manure application, um, which occurs annually. And just the initial results we've seen in year one, it was no storm driven events, it's all irrigation driven events. And there is potential to move small amounts of nutrients off of the plots, even through irrigation. And we've seen as much as um, 11 pounds of nitrogen loss and about 7 pounds of phosphorus loss from a site just due to irrigation that is moving off site. But the most important thing that we've seen so far is this important soil sample. Know how much um, nitrogen and phosphorus you have in your soil profile um, before you go and you apply uh, manure. Make sure that you um, need an application of manure um, and why spend money. Um, to buy fertilizer or nutrients when you have available nutrients in the soil. So it's very important we're finding to see what's in the field before you apply nutrients.